that to the game that I will always hate. To the game that has probably ruined my life the most. Um, and yeah, the game that is so bad that remember Abby, everyone, and how she literally used to come on to the streams. Uh, she literally doesn't want to come on the streams anymore. <laughs> she fell asleep because she doesn't want to come on to the streams. It's not even funny how that it is unironically <laughs> what has happened. But anyways, let's get started. So, the first thing I want to talk about with you all is this is going to be a much slower stream. We're basically going to get Wario up to level 100 here. We're going to try and level up Imagine here to level 100, and then I'm going to discuss um, what the team is going to look like and what we will do to get them more powerful. Because I realized that it's not very out in the open how you get these guys more powerful. So I think that the first thing to know is that I put the lucky egg on Wario. And that we unironically want to fight as many Pokemon in here as possible because this is like the highest level that they get. You may also be saying, is getting them to level 100 overkill? No. No, it is not. If anything, getting them to level 100 is a necessity. What's overkill is that I'm EV training them. And I've heard rumors that you do not need to EV train them. I do not want to take chances. Because at the same time... Oh. Sorry, Chad, I'll be right back. Sorry, chat. My mom had to call me for something real quick. And while we wait for Wario to defeat this guy, which we will do with Tire Crash, which I will explain what that does in a minute, uh, we want to explain basically what Tire Crash does. So, the summary of Tire Crash and why I have it is tire crash is two to five hits which is already really good i'm not going to spoil which elite four member it's good against but it is good against an elite four member and due to wario's ability stench it also flinches so basically tire crash is really powerful and has a lot of chances to flinch but also, and this is not an ironic thing, you'll see that on the bottom it says that this move always goes first. Yeah, it always goes first. <laughs> and there we go. And it's not really a spoiler to say this because I'm pretty sure you already know, chat, that the champion's gonna have some Pokemon that are very busted. And, like, you've already seen that uh, this guy thinks that his ROM hack is very serious. And he put in a bunch of divine and chaos types. And. <laughs> We all know that the champion is definitely going to specialize in those types. We all know that those types are very easy to defeat. 
right. I think another thing I also need to explain is that we've grinded so much off screen, but this is the only, like, this is only how far I got. Uh, remember, chat, Wario was level one when we met him. It was really hard to get Wario up to this level. And I would have streamed it, but I said that I was not going to stream the grinding, because I believe that if we streamed the grinding, it would be boring. And I was completely right, because again, this is ridiculous. Uh, I have a funny story to tell at least, though. So, when I was grinding, probably, it's November now, it was late October when I was grinding. Uh, I kept getting a shiny. Like, I had really good shiny luck for no reason. And... <laughs> oh, wait, I should actually say because Wario just leveled up. That's actually... This is actually tying into the story, by the way. <laughs> now I save every time Wario levels up. Because, fun fact, Stando here has no shiny. So what happens, chat, when you think, when Stando gets a shiny, right? Well, it turns out, the game crashes. So we have a chance to make the game crash. Out of nowhere. Because Stando gets a shiny. I have been infinitely frustrated by that. It is actually painful. What's also painful is Wario is very weak in terms of special attack. Or special attack. Special defense. So, every time I get hit with Galactic Force there, Wario is for sure dying. There is no way he's living that. It is unironically made me go, yeah, we may reconsider Wario being on the team. Oh my god. But, on the bright side, Gunk Shot is really powerful, and as you saw, it can poison, and it can flinch. So Wario is at least trying to pull his weight. He isn't doing the best at it, but he's trying. Shout out to Wario for existence. You did try. But anyways... After we get war at level 100, I'm going to teach you all something very important. How did I EV train this game? Because clearly this game has no semblance of EV training. Like some Pokemon, I believe, literally don't even give you EVs because the game is broken. So how would you be able to tell if you got an EV from a Pokemon, right? Oh my god. It is so difficult to actually tell, and it is so annoying to play this game. So I'm just going to teach you the, the fast method, right? And yes, when Wario gets to level 100, you'll see it, chat. This is unironically the fastest method. I wish I was joking. This is unironically the fastest method. But while we wait for Wario to get to level 100... Let's discuss some other things. Um, say your team is, like, really crappy with IVs. So, like, you got Bowser, but he has zero attack IVs and zero defense IVs, so he just kind of sucks. Well, what can you do in that situation? Because, like, clearly, at that point, Bowser's not going to start pulling his weight. He's going to be like Wario here, who I believe Wario has zero attack IVs, funnily enough, even though he's adamant. And he's really strong. But, at that point, you can try to breed. I really do not recommend breeding in WAC, because literally one of the most important things to know about WAC is that every time a Pokemon hatches, if you hit the nickname option... 
like you hit I want to nickname it, the game will crash. There is no way to get around that. It is literally if you just hit the yes option. And if you're like auto hatching, if you're too automated, you're going to hit A and then you're going to crash your game and then it's going to be a whole thing. Let alone if you're hatching a Pokemon like Wario who doesn't have a shiny. So if you hatch a shiny, congratulations, you've crashed your game. Do so what do I recommend if you have bad IVs? Wonder Trade. Wonder Trade has only one condition in which it crashes the game. Only one. So you will want to actually save before you Wonder Trade. The game will not prompt you to save before you Wonder Trade. The fix to this, or the crash bug that happens, is when you get a legendary, such as like Deoxys through Wonder Trade, the game will crash. How do I know this? Because it happened to me. I think I got Rayquaza or something through Wonder Trade. And the game proceeded to go, oh boy, you're not supposed to get that. And then crashed my entire game. I hate this bad thing. This bad thing right here. On the bright side, at least these things are chaos type, which means that they're supposed to be incredibly offensive. But as you can tell, chat, it can't really damage Wario because Wario just literally looks at that thing and goes, What are you trying to do? And then Wario proceeds to hit it with any attack possible because all the types are super effective on it. And he kills it. If you can get a Pokemon with um, a Chaos type move, you're pretty much set. Granted that most of them do suck, but you'll be set. Oh boy. I think my mom was full of food dry by, so she might ask me to go away and pick up some stuff. Damn it, Stando. This is also an annoying part of training here, is even though this is like the ideal training spot, Stando has Destiny Bond sometimes. And I've died to it, like, multiple times. I've really hated it all the time. Alright, there we go. We wiped out stand or stand up. It's specifically the stando that looks like Star Platinum will pack um, Destiny Bond. I should, al I should also discuss uh, Car Crash. The reason we have Car Crash on Wario is because it's a guaranteed paralysis. And that is already really good. That's like, when we're fighting the LE4 inevitably, uh, we will really want guaranteed paralysis. I don't know why I didn't paralyze that guy, but I guess he must have put up like a safeguard or something. But guaranteed paralysis is amazing. Combine that with the fact that if the opponent is already taking a status, because Car Crash is meant to not only paralyze the opponent, it's also made to paralyze you. But if the opponent already has a status, like Poison, which we can inflict with Gunk Shot, hopefully, they will get not paralyzed, and Wario won't get paralyzed. So it just turns into a really strong move, and there's no drawbacks. <laughs> I wish I could show it, but I I think I'd have to land the poison on Gunk Shot. Which is already really difficult. Alright, wonderful. Another stando. Watch him learn, Ted. Watch him learn. He's gonna hit me with that Destiny Bond. And I'm gonna have to force switch out. I'm probably gonna go into Live and Learn here. He's gonna kill Live and Learn with this. So we're going to have to go into Hugh Gas. And who is texting this? Alright. 
All right, at least Wario's level 99. Uh, if you don't like this training method, I'm going to show you another one that is much more rewarding, but at the same time, it takes even longer. And if I'm honest, if Victory Road didn't have, like, well, actually, if Victory Road had even more of, like, bullcrap Pokemon, like, every Pokemon had Destiny Bond or some crap, then I probably would have done the other method. It is very hard to justify doing it, though, because not only do you need Thief, you need a lot of luck. <laughs> like, a lot of luck. I'll show you j oh. Alright. So I got the poison off. This is important. Now car crash is not going to paralyze Wario. Wario. Well you lane car crash, so I can I can show this off. Thank you. Granted it doesn't paralyze if he kills also. I don't know why I just ran back for that one. But whatever. But, uh, alright. So, the reason I didn't do the other method is literally because this method was the less time-consuming one. I don't know if you've noticed, chat, but I have a life outside of this, and personally, I do not like playing Pokemon Black at all. <laughs> but I will show you this method, because reasonably, if you get something with Thief, very early in the game, you could try this method and start out with, like, very high-level Pokemon. Even though you shouldn't, because Pokemon do not listen to you once you reach a certain level early in the game. And that is very difficult to work with, especially in Whack. Alright. But, essentially... If, to explain it easily, essentially the other method is there's a Pokemon that has a lot of rare candies. Like it holds a rare candy occasionally. And you just basically steal rare candies. It would be much easier if you had five pickup Pokemon that were very high leveled. Which I did not, unfortunately. But if you had five pickup Pokemon that were very high level, and then you had that Pokemon Stealing Thief, but even then, it's literally like RNG, and then this is just the most reliable method in that man. Right. Yeah, Stando like auto uses Destiny Bond every chance he gets. Watch that Elliot Four members all pack Destiny Bond on like two Pokemon. For anyone wondering, by the way, uh, I currently only know the types of the Elliot Four. Okay, sweet. You're gonna actually be level 100 soon, so I can show off EVs. But I currently only know the types of the Elite Four and all the like moves and the Pokemon they have got deleted. I assume it was the creator, because obviously this makes it so that you can beat the game in a reasonable time. <laughs> but while we wait for Warrior to get to level 100 here... Oh, he's getting close. Let's discuss uh, the LE4 themselves. The LE4, from what I know, is Virus, Fear... Cyber and Cosmic, and the champion is Divine and Chaos. So, what I learned from that is that Cosmic reset because Bowser. Bowser is literally one of the most powerful Pokemon in the game, and Cosmic type is weak to Cosmic type, and Bowser is now Cosmic type. And I learned that this was a nerf. <laughs> That apparently it was intentional to nerf him from being um, Fire Dragon type. Because Bowser was too powerful when he was Dragon type. And literally 
if I remember correctly, the way cosmic type works is that dragon is immune. All right, warrior's level 100. Why? I literally nearly went to town map because I've been playing Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I'm pretty sure it's I. I gotta like slow it down, but I'm pretty sure it's I City. Yes, it is. We want to go into this house right here, and we talk to this bureau, and we get a bunch of wings. This is how you EV train. Every wing that you get is a single EV. So as you can tell, I've been here a lot. <laughs> now, this is also important to know because otherwise you would probably get the wrong idea. Now, Pokemon Whack is not made correctly. I believe it was Gen 5 where they changed EV systems to what they are now. So this is going off the Gen 3 one where it was, you can have two stats completely maxed out and nothing else. That means that you have 256 points in a stat to max it out. This is unlike today where you have 252 points in a stat to max it out. And when you max out two stats, you have four EVs left over, which means that you can increase one stat by one. So, essentially what that also means is, if I remember correctly, so if I wanted to max out, like, Hugh Gas's special attack and speed, which I will do, I would give her 256 in both stats, and I couldn't invest four in special defense. That's what I did with Imagine, too. He has 256 in special attack and speed and nothing else. And... Wario is like, he has 256 in that attack, but he's split down the middle with defense and special defense. Which, I need to pull up a calculator for that, because I'm really bad at math. But if I remember correctly, is... Yeah, 128 in defense and special defense. So... You may be asking, well, I want to use Pokemon I used to in my playthrough, but I didn't EV train them. That's where this uh, little mart comes in handy. I believe it's this mart. No, it's the next mart. It's this little yellow mart. Yellow mart here. They sell berries. As you can tell, some of the berries are really cheap. Others are not. Most importantly, they sell, like, Custap berries, which, sweet Jesus, do I love that. But also they sell, like, um, just regular healing berries. Because you can't play it in berries and whack. The stat berries are all really cheap. So what does this mean? It means that... I'm pretty sure I have a couple hundred. Yeah, I have a, I have a fair amount. So, like, you want to lower Hugh Gas's defense? Okay, let's, let's make her defense drop. And when it says it won't have any effect, that's where you stop, because it won't have any effect. So that's basically how you EV train in WAC. I need to actually EV train two Pokemon. Uh, Hugas and Bowser need to be EV trained. The reasoning behind this is because we want Bowser to be, like, max defense... So it's very hard to touch Bowser. So ba Bowser legit isn't even EV trained, and yet look at him. So we're going to EV train him up. We're definitely going to get rid of his speed because he does not need speed. Uh, live and learn, I believe I EV trained. Funny name is not EV trained, but we'll go into funny name a little bit later. I actually do need to explain something else. Cream Pie. Cream Pie actually maybe dropped from the team. This is already EV trained. He's going to be just level 100. This guy is just... Well, he, he's going to get EV trained. 
Now let's explain this. Now say, oh, well, my Pokemon has a really bad nature. Like, really bad. Uh, for example, Funny Name has a really bad nature. Oh my god. You dare interrupt my stream. Well, don't worry. In the 8th gym, you can get mints. Now, you're probably looking at my money and going, Wow, you can't buy shit. Yeah, I can't, because I've already bought a mint. And I changed the nature of... I forget who. But, you may be wondering, well, how do you get money? Because obviously, you need money. Where are they? Oh, are they here? So, what I've done is I have the amulet coin on this guy, just in case um, I need to get even more money from the trainer battles I miss. But we also have Payday. Payday is going to be your best friend in whack no matter what. Payday is a move you want to keep. And the reason why is because, obviously, when you beat all the gyms, and when you fought a lot of trainers, and you can't find any more, you're going to be running a little low on cash. So, just to show it off. My favorite thing to do is we take glitches here, right? Let's put you back in the box that lies. We take glitches here. We fly into Pokemon League. And now your payday money will increase like the more that you get leveled up. But we basically just use payday to get money. And unfortunately, this is what we have to do for, like, a lot of money. Which, as you would imagine, feels very grindy. It's very boring. I will be real chat. You're probably going to get really bored sitting there like, Gee, I, I really wish I could do anything else. We'll learn Transform, too, just for fun. But, like, you basically just sit there and hit Payday. I believe if Glitches even dies, we still get Payday. I'm just keeping them alive, just so you can see that some of these Pokemon are really easy to rack up Payday on. Uh, you know, we'll send an Imagine real quick because I want to level them up a bit. There's other things that I can discuss. Like, there's actually Pokemon that you can get through Wonder Trade that are incredibly strong. I think that one of the greatest ones that you can get that is, like, incredibly strong would be Pokemon like Imagine, who have a very good ability. Granted, so Imagine's utter ability is Defeatist. Which, if you guys do not know, Defeatist is awful. We also have, um... Wood Hit. Well, we also have Nasty Plot on him, and there's a very good reason we have Nasty Plot. Uh, his ability is called Acid Rush. Acid Rush means that he basically has Swift Swim, but it only works in Acid Rain, which does damage to everything that's not Poison type, and I believe makes Imagine himself immune to um, getting damaged by it, since he's not Poison type. It is very strong, because he's already very fast, but he also hits really hard. Alright. Yeah. I really hope that you're stronger than Wario Cuddle. No. Gross. We don't cuddle the enemy, we beat their asses in. Flower shield. And there's going to be no grass types on the field. Amplifier. I believe that this is a move 
Yeah. We probably want to keep this though, because if we... I believe that there is a move stronger than Sonic Wave that we get. But this does not do much besides increase the power of sound type moves. This increases your special attack by one and it already makes Sonic Wave stronger, so... It's like a double boost. And if ampl and if um, we had Technician, it would probably be too busted to use. I'm also going to put the Lucky Egg. I wish I could... Hold on. No, I can't. I was about to say, can I move items? But no, of course I can't. So chat, there's a lot I can discuss here. There's a whole bunch. What's important to know is that I simply got lucky off of Wonder Trade. Like, I unironically just got a, a bunch of luck on Wonder Trade. And you probably won't be able to get the same luck I have off of Wonder Trade. You can try. It might be a lot of time-consuming annoyances. So I don't recommend it entirely. But, um... My best description of Wonder Trade in this game is... It's Russian Roulette. You're either going to get something good... Or you're going to get just... Utterly screwed. No, we're not going to learn Body Press at all. That may seem promising on Imagine, by the way. Uh, but Ima Imagine is a special sweeper. So I don't even know why it gets body press. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, as you can see, this is actually how... Also, I hate that move. And we can't even use Payday on this version of Stando. It's Walking Ghost. Oh my god. I was planning to show you all how hard it is to get uh, EV training, by the way. By getting up to like 252 feathers. Or not 252, 256. But I decided against that because I learned that it would take hours. And I assume none of you wanted to watch me sit here for hours. Pressing the same button. And having literally nothing to tell you about. Granted, there's like no one in chat anyway, so. We're not going to learn Swagger because, if I'm honest, even though Swagger is a great move. I mean, after all, it is banned from Smogon from a reason. At the same time, Swagger is super dumb. Because if we use it on the LE4... Well, they have full restores coming out their ass, so. At least Imagine is getting up there in levels. Uh, at one point, I believe he will be able to take on this Pokemon on his own, which would be really nice. Mainly because he's not like Wario, where he's a slow tank. And if he gets hit by one special attack, he dies. He's a really speedy sweeper like Waluigi, who can reliably take out people. Uh, fun fact, though. Overripe Rucky Furt. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell is a Rucky Furt? <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I need to look this up. What is a Rucky Furt? Oh, it's cheese. Roquet Fort is a sheep milk cheese from southern France and is one of the world's best known blue cheeses. Oh, I think I've had some of these. God, I want lunch now, but I can't on stream. Anyways, I actually might end stream anyways soon because I don't have anything else to show you outside of like literally. We're just spreading coins. 
and we're trying to get Imagine leveled up and all this other off-stream stuff I usually do. But for anyone wondering how long I think that this will take, with Hugh Gas, Hugh Gas can reliably fight, and we haven't got her up to level 100 yet. So, Hugh Gas is probably going to be the fastest team member, so I'll save her for last. The only problem is I do need the EV trainer because she has not been EV trained at all. With Bowser, Bowser just literally needs to be EV trained. But imagine, he just needs to get up to level 100. I'm debating funny name. Funny name might be dropped for the simple reason of funny name requires so much work. And even when we do the work for funny name, the problem is that we have Pokemon who fill her role already. Uh, what I'm talking about, chat, is I wanted to make funny name modest. Because she's already really fast. And she can run, like, uh, Heat Wave and Blizzard and all that now. And Hurricane. But the problem is that Funny Name already gets outclassed very hard by Imagine and Waluigi. Who do the same thing. But either much better. Or just literally just completely outclass her niche in another way like imagine for example is much faster and also hits much harder or waluigi who can reliably switch in on water type moves and has belch which is such a powerful stab and doesn't have the accuracy of uh hurricane hey But, oh. oh yeah, it can't get knocked out because I'm higher level. That is how you prevent that, by the way, the black wall attack from these guys. You just literally be higher level. So if I was level 70, I would be knocked out. If I was level 71, I believe we aren't knocked out. But anyways. Um... Yeah, so Funny Name might be dropped, unfortunately. I really liked Funny Name. She was a very important member of the team. She really grew on me after a while, even though when I first met her, I was like, I'm never using you. And then I learned that she learned Fly, and I'm like, I'm using you only for one thing. <laughs> and what's even sadder is she's literally been like a clutch team member multiple times. So she's just literally going to be our honorable mention now. This is also an important thing. Uh, Imagine learns Flamethrower and I believe Ice Beam by level up. But I just realized that I got rid of the move that I was saying tuning was for, but that's okay because we're probably going to get rid of tuning anyways once we get his one sound move that he needs. I might have to look it up. You know what I really hate, chat, is I can't look up stuff when I'm streaming this because it's more important to me to stay on the wax screen so you can all see it. And yes, there are special attackers better than Imagine. Uh, for example, Hugh Gas. Hugh Gas is so good that it is quite possibly the best special attacker in the game. Granted, it doesn't have the highest special attack of all of its evolutions. It has the second highest. But we chose Hugh Gas' um, evolution not because of... Um, Things that you'd expect. Oh, that's a one-hit KO. I was debating if um, 
the matching was fast enough. We have a lot of special attackers on the team, though, and I kind of like that. The, re the reason I like that in particular is because most of the time, for some reason, the Pokemon in Whack have very low special attack or special defense. It's strange, but yeah, for some reason, Hugas is like the only specially defensive whack Pokemon that I've encountered that literally can wall me out when I'm using special attacks. All the rest are like, they have crazy high defense. They have crazy they have crazy high attacks. So it's clear to say that you know some Pokemon are pretty weak. Well, at least we picked up money from that. I love how no one tunes into these streams anymore and you're probably all gonna go into a YouTube video. I will say, there were people in the YouTube comments who were like, um, here's how you fix the audio to make it not suck. And thank you for trying, but we literally cannot play the audio in whack. For anyone who doesn't have context on how bad wax music is, all of it is either stolen or copyrighted. So the reason you're not hearing any audio is because I specifically took out the part of the audio folder that plays everything. There is literally Pokemon in the game that have audio that have audio like their cry is a copyrighted mu music thing. It sucks. However, I will tell you that if you want to play Whack with the audio on, uh, congrats, uh, you're not really going to miss much. We literally do not miss anything when we play with the audio. There is no song in Whack that is really redeemable that is made by the Whack dev. Um... M all of them are basically regular Pokemon music that was stolen and then remixed a bit. And by remixed, I mean it's either sped up or slowed down. If you want a game that has, like, good audio for a Pokemon game, what about Clover? I think Clover has really good original audio. And granted that some of it is like references and you possibly can get copyright struck for it. But I believe that the way they remixed it, you can't because it does not detect as specific music. Oh, sweet. Melt virus. I gotta check this. Okay, I believe this is the one that we want. Specifically because it reduces special defense. I might have to look it up later. There is a lot of moves that Imagine gets that do some crazy damage. Oh, wait, you know what I forgot to show you all? The rare candy. So, if you go to Glacier City, I believe it's called. Yeah, Glacier City. If you go down into, I'm trying to remember now, I think it's these woods. Yes, if you go into these woods. We do not want phantoms. We want these guys, Twicko Tweets. They occasionally can hold rare candies. The only problem is you can't do the payday thing on them because they're part ghosts. And Thief, you might not get a um, rare candy, you might get a mask. 
because they also can hold mass. It's annoying. And it, quite literally, the reason I didn't do that was because imagine if I spent like five hours grinding in there compared to here. Uh, here, I would probably get like a couple levels on a Pokemon. In there, I would probably get like three rare kings. It is a lot more consistent to do this. I personally did not use Payday while I was grinding in here off stream, but I probably should have. Because obviously you're going to get a lot more money if you do that. Not harshly fell. That's actually big if that is. I kind of want to try it again, but I don't think we're going to get a Pokemon that I can use it on reliably. But if that always lowers special defense, that's really good. Let me just think here to. God, I'm sorry, chat. I'm very tired and I don't like this game, so I kind of. When I play this game, I'm really off my game. But... Important thing I will say... Is that... There is... A lot of ways that you can break this game. It's just really time-consuming and boring. And as you can imagine... That's the reason that we aren't fighting the Elite Four today. Is because it was so time consuming and boring to play this game that I legit had trouble getting through Wario all the way to level 100. I think it was. To put, it, to put a time frame on it, it was. October around Halloween. I, I have to look at the stream, to be honest. It was around that time that we tried to get Wario to level 100. Uh, for like a solid day, I trained up Wario. And he got up like seven levels. And it was the most agonizing thing. Because I spent an entire day doing that and then of course I had to go back to work that next day but now luckily I don't go to work at all so yeah but also on days where I do stream um so for example I forget what my last phasmophobia stream was but that stream Ended Phasmophobia, went to Grind Unwound. I do. The only time I started slacking was, of course, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl came out, and I legit got distracted because, the good Pokemon game. <laughs> I want everyone to know that after fighting the Elite Four, and brilliant diamond shining pearl. I got sad because I realized that I would have to inevitably beat the Elite Four in here. And that made me go, oh no. So, spoilers for brilliant diamond shining pearl. Uh, I'll give you a couple minutes, like a minute, to uh, skip ahead to. Um, Probably like, probably like 30 seconds from now. Uh, Flint has a Drift Blim that spams Minimize. And that was all I thought about when I was like, oh no, I'm going to have to fight the whack L84. Is that's probably going to be it. It's just like spam Minimize, stuff like that. And as you can imagine, I'm not excited to fight the Lack Elite Four for that reason. There's probably a reason that they don't have the moves on the Wii.
Oh, sweet. Okay, so at least I can say Imagine is going much better than Wario. Uh, when Wario was, like, level 40, he died, like, every other hit. Alright. Spam payday. Yes, it exploded. Have anyone wondering how payday works? Uh, from my knowledge, my infinite wisdom... You see glitches level at a zero. That's how much money I got. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Like every time I use payday, at a zero to glitches level, that's how much money I'll drop. So when glitches gets to level 100, inevitably from spamming payday at everything, uh, we'll get a lot more money. How much have we made? I'm trying to think. We were at like 19,000. Yeah, we've made a decent amount. I can buy like a weaker mint, I believe. Just remember that you can't use payday on that guy. I'm here from green stando. Which we are definitely going to get in a huge chain. And these guys are the best guys to use on it, because if I remember correctly, they resist it. But they're also very, very, very weak when it comes to attacking. They have, like, only one attack. No, wait, they have two. They have Hurricane and the Stigmatic Gleam or whatever that prevents you from healing. Glitch is just trying to learn Bite. What? Did Missing Number unironically learn Bite at level 51? Aw, oh, man. I just want to also say, by the way, because uh, we're about an hour in. We're 50 minutes into this episode of Pokemon Whack and the stream of Pokemon Whack. On. I'm going to text it. But if you've made it this far, let alone into the stream, I know that barely any of you make it this far in the videos. <laughs> Don't try and lie to me, I know. But, um, thank you for watching these. Uh, I know that I suffer a lot in these, but for some reason, all of you love to tune into these. And I, I thank you for watching these. Because as painful as it is to play this, it's even more painful to realize that I can't make money off of these unless people start watching them. And in the long run, I do need to make money if I want to keep doing these. God damn. This is a very annoying game. And remember, chat, that I kept doing these for you. Every time someone says they want to play Pokemon Whack, I encourage them to watch the series. Or go watch a YouTuber who edits these. And just like, hear their reaction. Or just remember that the person who inspired me to play Pokemon Whack, Hoodlum Callum, does not have his videos on his channel anymore because Pokemon Whack was that bad that he didn't want to give it any attention. Granted, I'm doing the... Complete opposite of what he's doing right now. So. Whoops. But. The absolute child of man for doing it. Oh my god. And remember chat. If you want me to. Tr 
If you um get me up to a hundred followers by um we'll say the end of twenty twenty three. That we'll do a well uh, we won't do we'll attempt. Because we all know that we will never be able to do one. We'll attempt a Nuzlocke of Pokemon Whack. Can you imagine that though, chat? Can you, can you imagine unironically attempting a Nuzlocke in this game? Actually, you know what would be funnier? Imagine trying to do a Wonderlock of this game. <laughs> Or an anti demonetization speedrun. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Pokemon Way. I could no, uh, not demonetize percent. That's where we try and play Pokemon Way without getting demonetized. As you see, we started up the game and we already failed. I gotta, I gotta tell you all something funny though. I think it's really funny that um, not only does it say that these Pokemon Whack videos are monetizable, probably because n for all that they care, music doesn't show up in it. <laughs> but I think it's even funnier that one day, one possible day, that I could end up unironically receiving a dollar bill for playing Pokemon Whack. <laughs> oh, there we go. Twitch just wants to learn Bite again. Oops. Why does Glitch just want to learn Bite? We might end stream soon, though, again, because this is all that is going to happen until we can get to the LE4. So, chat, I expect to be at the LE4. I really don't know when we will. I, I should stop saying, like, I expect to be at the LE4 by Wednesday. Because we definitely are not going to be there anytime soon. Granted, I love that Imagine is leveling up so much faster than Wario. Oh my god, Imagine. Look, look, here's what I expect, right? Come, like, the end of November, I think that I'll probably have Hugh Gast EV trained. I'll have um, Bowser EV trained. I'll have Imagine probably up to, like, the 80s. Judging by just how fast right now they're leveling up. And that's it. And I'll, I'm also probably going to experience like several game crashes in the meantime. I've also, I've also been um, informed that Stando is the most broken Pokemon in the game. On the physical side. So if you don't feel like using. All the great special attackers we've met. Uh, just use Bowser and Stando. I've not been informed. Which Stando is the most broken. I've just heard. Stando. On the physical side. Is the most broken Pokemon. Which makes. A lot of sense, considering that, if I remember correctly, this version of Stando right here has Stab Superpower and Stab Bullet Punch. And meanwhile, if you have, like, a weakness, for example, like, maybe you don't want to send in Bowser on a particular Pokemon. Or you don't want to send in Stando on a specific Pokemon. Behold, Bowser. Ooh. Ooh. On one hand, we can get rid of Nasty Plot. 
on the other, we can have toxic. We're going to get rid of Nasty Plot for Toxic, because in the long run, when I think about it, Toxic is probably going to come in more handy. I believe there is no Toxic TM in WAC, because obviously if you had a Toxic TM, you would never have to fight a gym. But also, there's Pokemon who are really weak to... um. Just literally being stalled out with Toxic. Not to mention that I can make um, Valley 4 members spam all their full restores on fun Pokemon by just using Toxic once. So, like, watch. It, all, it also is important to know that um, Angeist here, very passive. So it's a good training dummy. And we know now that Toxic complements um, Imagine's kit well. So if I don't burn with Flamethrower, I can immediately Toxic. Right. Yeah, I guess that would work. If I don't feel like trying to fish for burns with Flamethrower, just use Toxic and then like help that with ship damage. God. I really am more scared though of the idea that um imagine gets ice beam so imagine we surf for free we fish for freeze on poison pokemon which i believe on whack has an increased chance because it's happened shockingly a lot but um fish for freeze right on poison types Although I believe that there's no poison types coming up. I might have to look into that. I believe that there's no poison types coming up. I hope that's true, because if it is not, oh my god, am I going to be screwed? But yeah, look. We just like chip damage a lot. And then imagine already has really strong hits. So Obviously, Imagine is going to get. Imagine just kind of has this amazing signal effect now. This is basically what I'm saying. Alright. Yeah, we've reached the hour mark. I feel like that. After I discuss a bit more of what I'm planning. First off, we're going to get Imagine level 100. Uh, second off, I do need to discuss this. I believe that Imagine has... I'm going to look it up real quick. Imagine has some great move that, that I'm supposed to be talking to you about, if I remember correctly. So it's Grace Celia. If I remember right, it's supposed to have some great move. Uh, most of its moves, however, kind of suck. Well, yeah, it does have great speed, as you can tell. That gets really fast in the um, Acid Rain. Base 91 speed is nothing to scoff at. Let alone base 141 special attack is also nothing to scoff at. Especially when you're packing the um, unnerfed flamethrower that's base 95. But that's only reserved for steel types, I believe. Let me. I'm checking on my phone. But. Oh, yes. Um, I think it's common cold. Yeah, uh, uh, we actually learned in Max. Wow. Yep. Okay, so we don't need Ice Beam technically because we have Common Cold. Oh, no, wait, never mind. It's um at level 72, we learn a specific attack 
that I'll just show off next wax stream. But basically, to sum it up, this move is a really great attack that is stab. It's virus type, so it's stab. It's going to replace melt virus, and every time it hits, it prevents the use of item for five turns. The use of items, like full restore, for five turns. It's either prevents, like, full restores, or it prevents the use of, like, held items. But both are really powerful. It's also important to note that I picked that we got a better dragon pulse, but I have to look into that. Oh, and thank god, if we don't want to learn... If we want to get Nasty Paw back, we have a way to get it back. Oh, we have two ways. So yeah, that's basically the game plan with um, Dressalium or Imagine. Uh, you may be wondering why we have every team in. You know, it's time to explain them. Waluigi's a pivot. Waluigi's super strong and he cannot be hit with water moves. I do not know if any of the LE4 has water moves, but if they do, congratulations. We can't be touched. His poison typing is also really good because in whack, poison typing is shockingly good defensively still. Uh, Wario, uh, poison dark makes him only weak to five things. That's one eighth of wax types, basically. And also, I believe that only one of them if I remember correctly. Let me look at it. Because if I remember correctly, chat, only one shows up in the WAC in the LE4. Yeah, it might be Chaos. Everyone's weak to Chaos, but... Yeah, so Waluigi, for example, is not weak to any of the LE4 stabs. Blech. Wario is also seemingly not weak to any of the LE4 stabs besides Chaos. On mobile, this is very awful. But also important to note, if we believe Waluigi is about to be hit with a psychic move, we can switch him out. And put in Wario, who will not only tank the psychic move, but then proceed to punish. Yeah, Wario is weak to um, only Chaos. It's the seeming only thing I could find that he'd be weak to. If Blood, which I doubt would be in any but Fear, is in this, he will be weak to that. But I believe he's not hit by fear. Because he's dark type. No, he's just resistant. Squishy. Uh, Emmy and Bunny both begged me to use this Pokemon. And then I discovered that it's like a Blissey. But with higher defense. So. Yeah. Uh, we're probably going to use this. It's incredibly passive, however. Pacify is our greatest means of damage. Yeah. Our greatest means of damage is preventing the use of damaging moves. Wish is super powerful. Seismic Toss works, but probably going to meet some ghost types. Thick Slam does not work correctly because Squishy's weight is the overflow. Like, Squishy's weight is the maximum that you can put into the game. And due to this, Squishy has a weight effectively of zero, if I remember right. Bows. The big thing to talk about is Astronomy. Astronomy can pull up some really fun moves. It's basically a Russian roulette where... Bows can either pull out a move that completely destroys the other Pokemon, or Bows pulls out a move that does basically nothing. 
There's also the chance that Bowser just pulls out a move that doesn't work. And then we want to keep Outrage because Outrage, as you all know, is how Bow's Mega evolves. But if I remember right, and if you're having trouble with this Elite Four, just remember this. Yeah. Bow's hits super effectively, I believe. I think. I'm not very sure. Reading the Whack Week is hard. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. Reading the Whack Week is pain. I'm pretty sure that he hit super effectively on uh, Cosmic types. Pretty sure. I really need to plan this out, though. If I remember right, Outrage, it's either Dragon types. It doesn't seem like Dragon type is a the cosmic like i thought but it might hit super effectively i'm trying to read again i'm trying to read the wiki and it's very difficult but bow's having his cosmic type taken away is very nice it's mainly so he can use astronomy without worry on to these guys imagine Imagine his whole thing, the whole reason I added him, was he basically hits every Elite Four member super effectively. No, I am not joking. He basically hits every um, Elite Four member. I believe the one he doesn't hit super effectively is the fear one. That is how ridiculous he gets. And Hugas, Hugas just hits fear super effectively, and there's parts of Cosmic that she can work through, and her Mega Evolution is part Divine type, which means that she's resistant to practically everything. Wow, that was an experience. But yeah. Here, I'll put them in the box so you can get an idea. So far, this is what the team will look like when we take them to the champions. We have three. We have three really good special attackers, two physical tanks, and one super passive cleric, who is also a tank that is god tier. The only problem we have, chat, and I am not joking is PP. You can... I will show you right now. Because I was super pissed when I found this out. And thank God that I'm not on Twitch when I originally found this out. Off screen. Uh, yeah, remember this berry place that sells us some really good berries? So first off, we will want, like, custom berries a lot, but I was looking through here, right, chat? I was like, huh, I can't find a specific berry that I would like to use. Yeah, you ready for this? You'll probably notice when I point it out, right? There's no Lepa berries. Even in this person, who only sells you, like, I think they're called immunity berries. There's no Lepa berries. There's no Lepa berries. At all. Which means you have no way of restoring PP. When you run out of PP at the champion, you run out of PP. You can't even, like, go, oh, hey, I'm just going to go to a regular Pokemon thing and buy some elixirs. Where's the Pokemon? There it is. Because, fun fact, even at the final gym, they don't sell elixirs. 
Don't sell anything. I almost threw my computer out the window. I was like that mad that you can't get anything. You can get full restores. Like, I, I'm gonna get full restores at the wazoo, but still. When you're out of PP, you're out of PP. It really sucks. If any of our team members here run out of PP in a battle, congrats. Like, if they're fully out of PP, congrats. They're no longer going to be able to fight. Unless I have enough full restores to allow them to use struggle over and over again. And even then, since this is Gen 3, struggle might be normal type and not hit ghost types. So I could get potentially soft locked. Pokemon Whack, everybody. It's a really fun game. Anyways, that's where we'll end stream. I hope you enjoyed it. I did not. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next stream. Have fun. Be safe. Next stream hopefully won't be Pokemon.